my dear brothers and sisters let us read this word of god first john chapter 2 verse 12 first john chapter 2 verse 12 the word of god says i am writing i am writing to you little children because your sins are forgiven on account of his name i am writing to you little children your sins are forgiven on account of his name my dear brothers and sisters whoever may be you are maybe you belong to different religions different tribes different beliefs maybe you are an atheist or maybe you are an agnostic you may be someone else some kind of uh, beliefs or philosophies you have but bible wants to give you a message for all of you i am writing to you little children because your sins are forgiven on account of his name even if your sins are t- so terrible even if you are a terrorist even if your sins are the worst sins in the whole world if you come to jesus if you accept jesus as your savior and the lord your sins are forgiven on account of his name my dear brothers and sisters many a time we have some accusation against god why god did this why god if god, human beings are going to commit sin and be, people are going to suffer then why did god create them if these evil things are going to take place in the world why did god create these things these are common questions which many people ask the answer is on the cross jesus said yes all the blames which you are supposed to take all the blames which you want to attribute on god or anyone all the punishment which you are supposed to go through for your sins all the punishment all the consequence of the sin the lord says give it to me i will go through on behalf of you i will pay the price for everything that you have done and i will die on mount calvary so that you may be set free my dear brothers and sisters jesus took everything on his himself and died on mount calvary and that is why saint john wrote it down i am writing to you little children because your sins are forgiven on account of his name therefore call out his name believe in his name love his name be united to his name and accept jesus as your savior and the lord all your sins are forgiven whoever may be you are in whatever condition that you are into all your sins are forgiven the moment you accept jesus as your lord and savior you may be hindu muslim sikh or buddhist or jainist or whoever may be you are maybe you are atheist who uh, was satanist but the lord says the moment you accept jesus as the lord and savior all your sins are forgiven on account of his name